The number of people going to mass vaccination sites in the area is declining, so the New Orleans Convention Center is closing its vaccination hall. Meg Ferris joins us live now from the Convention Center to let us know what's next to get people vaccinated. Hey, Meg. That's right, Sharice, and in just two days, this mass vaccination site will close here at the New Orleans Convention Center, and it ran so smoothly. People were in and out very fast. Some people credit that with the reason why we have such a high vaccination rate in Orleans Parish, but I spoke to some of the workers today who've been here since the very beginning, and they say they've seen a lot of emotions inside these doors. <laughs> Since the music and LCMC health staff welcomed the first people to the New Orleans Convention Center mass vaccination site on March 3rd, 51,000 doses have gone into arms. The in and out in 20 minute efficiency surprised those who came. The security guard called what she saw beautiful. The hugs from the other ones like, oh yes, we can finally embrace each other now. I got this behind me and let's all do this so we can get our city back together again. Closing is bittersweet for this patient representative who left her job at Walmart to realize her dream of working in health care to help people. It was one patient that came and she just bust out crying and I had to console her. I had to like, you know, I was wondering like, what's going on? Are you okay? She was like, yeah, I'm just so excited of getting the shot because I want to go back to being normal. This nurse of 41 years came out of retirement to work here. I realized that uh, I have a very valuable skill that was needed because um, uh, you've probably heard this before, but, um, but vaccines don't end pandemics. Vaccinations do. He'll never forget a mother and daughter who came to get their vaccines after losing their husband father to COVID. We've had many people who have lost a loved one before vaccines were available and to come and get vaccinated and to, to be safe from that. It, it is emotional for them. After Saturday, LCMC will continue giving vaccines at its six hospital clinics, but will now start going out in the community. The shift now is really to get to where the people are who haven't been vaccinated. And so we're going from something where we pulled a lot of people in, now we're really pushing out to people to get them, you know, ultimately protected. Donald will go back into semi-retirement. Erin hopes they'll have a new position for her. Life goes on and the best we could do is just move forward and to keep going and to make sure that, you know, we learn from it. And we certainly wish Erin well in her future career endeavors. Now, for Friday and Saturday here, there are no walk-ins. It's only by appointment for people who need their second dose. And if you want to make an appointment for any other sites that are still going to be open, those hospital sites, 290-5200, 290 290-5200. Reporting live from the New Orleans Convention Center, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News, back to you. All right, good information. Thank you, Meg.